Hello awesome people! I hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at the next short story in this collection. It's six pages long, but there's a picture around it, so it's really just five pages long. In this novel size collection called Fan Visions from Fantasy, uh, it's edited by Isaac Asimov and Martin uh, Greenberg and so forth. Most of these things in here were uh, published prior to this, a couple. Uh, the Isaac Asimov short story that we went through and read for you folks. Wasn't I purchased this one when it was contemporaneously when it was published in '87, uh, right about then because I was doing a deep dive in all things uh, fantasy after coming across Tolkien and then and McCaffrey was uh, the next person and she wrote a short story and here's the first one her name is in the top one in the back 20 pages long that we read the smallest Dragon Boy that I just knocked out now we're reading Marion Zimmer Bradley's six page but there's a picture so it's really five pages long called a dozen of everything uh, for you folks uh, so now we're going to be knocking out that short story I'll link you to this in the comments below for you folks uh, this stuff is as you can tell very very short it's very very small for 12 short stories so it doesn't take that much of your time for you to knock out there aren't these big gigantic reads of hair or anything like that right it's for you folks so uh, that's what we're doing next is the six page short story by Marion Zimmer Bradley Hall. She's a big name. Obviously, this uh, story was published, you know, decades before because she's a big, big name uh, in science fiction and fantasy. But I've never actually read, read any of her novels. I'm sorry, I'm reading this now for the second time for you folks uh, as a, just, a, just a quick check in to see where we are with her. So she is. So, again, this is six pages long, but five pages with a picture, a page size picture. So it's about to be about 10 minutes for me to knock out or a little bit less last night for the second time for you folks. Uh, so also, uh, as a reminder, my reviews are not spoilers, right? They're all spoiler free. So what I typically will do is give you the first couple pages for a, for a short story. And in this case, that short story six pages long. So probably like the first page and a half or so. And basically what's happening uh, is, is that we have our key character is about to get married and she's pretty poor and impoverished and such. So she um, uh, she has some friends that have some money and so forth, but her and her husband don't and so forth. And she just got a present in. It's a bottle of perfume from her rich aunt and she's the only living relative of her, of her rich aunt who's living up in a... Egypt and will regularly write her letters that she'll respond to and that sort of a thing. So that's what's happening is that she's sent a gift a perfume uh, for her in the last first couple of pages uh, and that sets up what's happening in a dozen of everything for you folks. Uh, it's fun. I like it. I like the way that it ends. It's a particular surprise uh, for folks. I liked, I thought it was pretty good uh, and so I definitely enjoyed this and Mary Ann Zimmer Bradley is obviously a big name. Uh, in fantasy, and she, and even though this is only six pages, it's harder to, and only five pages with the picture. Uh, uh, it's still, it's pretty fun. I definitely enjoyed it. So I'm giving this like a seven and a half. It's fun. I like the concept, uh, uh, and and such. So there you are. That is my quick little take on this quick little short story. It doesn't take me much of your time for you folks. Uh, so this, as a reminder, uh, the chi this channel's title uh, is the worst thing about new books, and that's a quote by a French philosopher, Jacques Juppert who said that the worst thing about new books was that they kept us from reading the old ones, right? And so a collection that was published in 87, was a short story that was published well before that, uh, is a key card of the concept, right? Those are definitely older works that are fascinating as a part of like the Unlock East Channel people, right? Uh, and so forth. Uh, so there you are, I'll go ahead and leave you to it. Have you read this? If so, what did you think about it? Did you agree or disagree with my seven and a half out of 10? Let's talk about the comments below. If you enjoyed this, why not hit that subscribe button? And if you're feeling frisky, hit the bell icon so you'll be let know of my three uh, things. And also you can let other folks know about the show and share it too. There's a lot of fun stuff happens with here. Uh, and then finally, I just want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video because we all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me, that's incredibly humbling, and I appreciate it. So thanks again, and have an amazing day.